I'm Rodney Carrington, and you're watching Bit by Bit. Fat girls, fat girls, fat girls, turn me on. Fat girls, fat girls, fat girls, turn me on. So we get to this 25 car garage of his, and he's got shit none of the rest of us have. He has a motorized pogo stick. Who has that? Toby Keith has that. It's got a five horsepower Briggs and Stratton on it. You gotta ride it till it runs out of gas. Ain't no getting off that son bitch. I went down his driveway twice and swallowed four pieces of gum. I was Tim near he uh, a bicycle helmet on. He was laughing his ass off. And he's got cars that we ain't even seen in magazines. And he's showing them to me. He says, you know what this is? I said, no. He said, this here, 1932, Ford Blook of Blook or something fancy. Can't remember what he said. He said, I only made two of these in the whole world, Rodney. I bought both of them. I blew the other one up over that pasture so I could own the only one. Ain't that cool? He said, shit, I got a truck. It's, it's over there. He saw it. I said, I bet you ain't got none of that. He goes, what is that? I said, that's magical reindeer corn, Toby. He said, how come it looks like peanut M&M's? I said, because I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> You know he didn't laugh at that? He looked at me like, what the fuck? Who the fuck keeps peanut M&M's in their pocket without a wrapper? What the fuck kind of shit is that? I'm thinking I like them soggy. They're delicious. I can't believe he didn't laugh at that. I'd have laughed my ass off at somebody done that. So we got in his office that morning at 10 o'clock. We're working on the beer from a horse's outline. This is where it all started. 10 o'clock that morning till 4 o'clock the next morning, we looked up long enough to eat a sandwich his wife had brought in for us to eat. I was so tired, I couldn't hold my eyes open when he's still asking me questions. And he finally goes, hey, it's 4 a.m., we better go to bed. I'm thinking, I just saw the Easter Bunny. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, is it because I'm tired I saw the Easter Bunny, or does he just got so much fucking money the Easter Bunny lives in his life? I still don't know that. I still don't know. So he says to me, really, honest to God, he goes, come on, let me show you where you're sleeping. And he picked up my suitcase and started to carry it. You know what I thought? Boy, I'd like to have a picture of that. <laughs> Toby Keith is carrying my damn suitcase. But my camera was in the suitcase he was carrying. I thought it's going to be off rude of me to ask him to stop. Let me unzip that bag. Get that camera out and zip back up and have him walk a little bit further while I pop off a few shots of him carrying my suitcase. <laughs> so, common sense just said, let, well, let that one go, Rod Sickle. <laughs> so I followed him up a big spiral staircase and went down a long hallway, come to a fireman's post, slid down about half a floor, come to a steel door with a slat, and the guy pulled it back. I could see his eyes. Toby said, strawberries, and the door opened. We're standing in a skating rink, and Gary and Webster holding hands going around and around in them 1980 skates. You know where they got two wheels on the front and two on the back, listening to Elder Barge, a popular band from back then. Time Will Reveal was the song we was playing. It's kind of freaky. Went down another hallway, come to two doors. He opens them up and goes, here's where you sleeping, Rodney. And on the inside of my body, I was jumping up and down going, motherfucker. But on the outside, I was going, I guess this will work. Because I didn't want him to know my house would fit in this room I was fixing to sleep in. <laughs> so I said, well, Toby, I sure appreciate everything. I guess this is good night. He goes, good night. But he stood in the doorway and kind of looked at me like he. So good night. I tried to make it sound like, get out. He finally left, but shit, it was weird. <laughs> I don't think I made that up. I made that part up. I don't want you driving home. You hear that shit about Toby Key? What the fuck was that about? Fucking Rodney said goodnight, then he stood in the doorway and gave him them loving eyes and said goodnight. And Rodney had to say goodnight and make it sound like get out, and he finally left. He's a fruitcake, I ain't never buying this shit again. I made all that shit up. I don't want that big motherfucker coming looking for me. Do not. So I get to his house, and that son of a bitch is manicured, 160 acres, manicured like Disney World. There's not a grass out of place. Mexicans everywhere. And uh, 
It's his house. Don't judge me. I'm driving down Toby's driveway and I'm passing the